and it just burnt out so i'll just what i'll do is connect a wee bit of nickel strip across there solder it across it'll still be a fusible link because it'll be a lot weaker than the rest and it will burn out in the case of an overload so that's good that's good news number seven is the fusible link fusible link Last but not least, number eight, and it's also a Lupo bulk battery, if you see that. Um, this is a 12 amp. What sets it apart from the 9 amp, it has also got 15 cells, but they're bigger cells. Actually, bigger in size as well as capacity. And it's got a flashing light. And if we connect the uh, voltmeter to the positive and negative here we get 17 volts 17.1 if you can see that that's coming into almost chargeable voltage range so we really need to dig in again get the uh, four outer screws and four inner screws same principle as an A amp but it's a bigger battery just in every way capacity and size The screws out will get the top off and again a home build but all the connections are they don't look pretty you know some of mine don't look pretty anyway either so I'm not slagging it off but they're all there they're all connected so we'll pull it out again I have to remove the four screws in the bottom to do that and there's been a bit of uh, DIY home build, well, semi-professional Lupo home build, so that's that's all right. He's connected everything, well enough done, good enough spot welding. Looks untidy to the untrained day, but as long as everything's connected, it's okay. So here we are, the volt check. Three point four three, good. Three point four three, good. Three point Four three. I'm expecting all the cells to be good. Yeah, that battery, conceivably, well, all, all the cells good, should charge. But um, if it doesn't charge, I'd only suggest one thing: a new circuit board. There might be something in the circuit board that has failed. Not. 